Why don't clouds fall? It is why. In fact, if they contain water, which is heavier than hair, why don't they fall towards the ground? Let's find out. So, in order to understand if a cloud is going up or down, we have to take into account the forces in this situation. First, we have the gravitational force, which is the mass times the gravity. Then we have the buoyant force, which is the density of the air times the volume times the gravity again. Last but not least, we have the A resistance, in other words, drag. For this particular case, the equation of drag is gonna be something like this. Six times pi multiplied by the dynamic viscosity, the radius of a single droplet, and the velocity of the droplet. If we make some assumption about dynamic viscosity, the dimension and the velocity of the droplet, the volume and the mass, we can create an equation where gravity equals drag and buoyancy forces. And if we put everything together, we will end up finding a velocity that is equal to 0.01 meters per second. That means that the cloud is actually falling, but the motion of the cloud is so slow that to the naked eye, they appear to float in the sky.